In the early 20th century, literacy in Anderson received a major boost from a national philanthropist who helped in the construction of two libraries in the county. We'll look at the man and the libraries this week under the kudzu. Andrew Carnegie was one of the richest men in the world. He had amassed a fortune from hard work and hard business decisions, rising to the top of the steel industry. He provided much of America with the metal that was used to build her cities and make American industry the dominant force in the world. Near the end of his life, Carnegie and his business rival, John D. Rockefeller, tried to see who could give away more of their enormous fortunes. One of Carnegie's ways was the establishment of libraries. From 1883 to 1919, 1,689 libraries were built in the United States. By 1919, nearly half of all libraries in America were built using Carnegie funds. In South Carolina, 16 cities and towns applied for Carnegie grants, 13 were accepted. To qualify for a Carnegie library, a community had to demonstrate four things. A need, a site, 10% of the total cost, and that it be free for all. In Anderson County, there are two libraries, one in Anderson and one in Honeypath. The Anderson Library was the first to be built. It remains on Main Street in Anderson. This was the first branch of what would become known as the Anderson County Library System. Built in the Romanesque Revival style, the library building was built in 1907 as a result of work by the Library Association that was formed by the Anderson Women's Christian Temperance Chapter. The land was provided by Judge Joseph Newton Brown and the architect was G.B. Casey. It remained the library's main branch until the 1970s when it was adapted for use as an arts center. On November 5, 1987, the library building was listed in the National Register of Historic Places as part of the Anderson Downtown Historic District. The second Carnegie Library is located in Honeypath. The town has the distinction of being the smallest town to have a Carnegie Library. Three people were instrumental in obtaining a $5,000 grant for Honeypath. Dr. John Wright, Honeypath Mayor John Humbert, and Miss Jenny Irwin. A library association was formed in 1907, and the Honeypath Library was opened in 1908. In 1958, the library was renamed the Jenny Irwin Library, and it became part of the Anderson County Library System. As part of the original terms of the grant, the Honeypath Library Association still continues to raise and contribute $500 per year to support the library. Who won the contest between Carnegie and Rockefeller to see who could donate the most money? Carnegie died in 1919. Rockefeller continued donating money to causes until he died in 1937. I'm Brian Scott with more history coming up next week right here under the Kudzu.